Hi, this is Lydia Brown, Network Marketing Entrepreneur. Today I'm going to show you how I label and organize my emails in my Gmail account. You can do it manually and you can have it set up automatically. So I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to use CutVG as an example. Once I click on this one email in CutVG, you'll notice that this box comes up. If I have no emails checked, this is blank. But once I cut it, I set it up there. Now, when I click more to have this set up automatically, go down to where it says filter messages like these. And when I click that, you'll notice that this is the email account that's coming in with all these cut VG emails. And the filter I want to set up is create filter with this search. And I want to apply a label. And I'm also going to click skip the inbox. I want it to go straight to the label I'm going to set up. So this is the label I'm going to set up. I don't have a label for cut PG. So I'm going to go in and put new label. And I'm going to type in cut PG. Hit create. So what I've just done is told Gmail that when any emails come in from that email address bounce at cut VG I want it to go straight to the label I set up which is cut VG and I've set up the label okay so now I'm gonna click create filter right here it says also apply filter to 67 matching conversations I already have a bunch of emails in there with that so I'm gonna click yes I want them to apply that now I won't have to do it later manually. So create filter. Now you've seen all those emails have disappeared. Now we're going to go over here to the left. Cut VG. Open that up. All the emails are there under that label. They're no longer in my inbox. I can delete these. This isn't permanent. As I read them, I can delete them. But what happens is they're out of the way of all the other emails that I have. I don't use this for every type of email that comes in, only the important ones like um, emails I want to save for affiliate accounts, email swipe files, I save emails, I like to study the way different people contact me, what moves me about their email message and their headline so I can learn, help enhance my copywriting skills, so I have a swipe file set up. You can set up for your Google Alerts. I, I get a lot of Google Alerts. I have a lot of different keywords and terms that I've set up Google Alerts for. But I can't read them all every day. But I don't like to miss any. So I can also go and set up a label for that. So say you get a new email. Um, you signed up for something new. And you just want to do it manually. And you haven't already set up a label for that right now. Well, all you have to do is just... I'll take Mike Reed for an example. I'll click that email. I'll go set up a label. Notice, again, this is blank. Click it. Now you have the option to set up a label. I don't have a, a label for Mike Reed, so I'm going to hit Create New. And I'm going to type in his name, Mike Reed. Hit Create. This label's here, Mike Reed. So what will happen every time an email comes in for Mike Reed, I would go in and manually just click the email, go in and have it moved, go in and have it moved, I'd find his label, click it and it would move that email, or by choice I can go in and set up a filter for him so that every time it comes in, instead of going into my email, my inbox, it'll automatically go over to the label. So you have a choice of setting up the filter or having the label set up so you can do it manually whenever you're ready. So you go back to, we're going to go back to, to our Gmail account. I'm going to unclick. So remember that if you want to set it up manually, all you do is click on the email that you want. Go up here where the label is, create new for the new email you want to move, 
or you can click the email go to more set up a filter so that every email that comes in will automatically go under that label if you choose it can still go into your box because you can set up you don't have to check skip the inbox you can just set up the label and it'll label it as such but I like to have it skip the inbox because I don't set up like I said a label for everything just what's important to me so I know that when I go into my Gmail daily or every other day I check these because these are the accounts that are important to me and I want to make sure I don't miss anything so I hope this has been helpful if you need any further information have any questions just contact me at brownlid lyd at gmail dot com brownlid at gmail dot com I also invite you to visit my website at lydiajbrown dot com l y d i a j dot com lydia l y d i a j brown dot com excuse me got a little tongue tied right there and you'll also see it in this video I have the a, a little box with the address with the correct address for the website so have an awesome day take care